Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome back. So, um, decided to start up the Monster Spotlight series again. I haven't done a Monster Spotlight in quite a while, and um, basically going down the list. Now, if I skipped you, it probably means that you're either like I tried to add you to friend and you didn't accept, or you switched monsters from the monster that you wanted me to spotlight. So I basically went down the list and found the first guy that um, actually had something that I <laughs> that was uh, that was on the list. And this is uh, this is Killer Wolf and his um, Dark Mona. Now I I spotlighted the Dark Mona many many times for different purposes. Like there was like Dark Mona with siphon gems, like some triple Dark Mona stuff, Dark Mona with 100% crit, Dark Mona with ruin. Um, and his his Dark Mona is uh, is is on five star gems basically. That's that's basically what what uh, what's special about his Dark Mona. Um, it is on 5 star gems, but it does have 100% crit, so it will be able to do quite a lot of damage. Now, with a, with a new... Um, I think they're going to release it... Oh wait, it doesn't have 100% crit, it's using a defense gem, never mind, never mind. Uh, actually wait, it has very very close to 100% crit, it's got, it's got 23 here, 21 here, and like 25 here, so that's like 60... Uh, my math is bad, okay. It's like 67. Uh, that's 80%. 80, 80 plus 10. That's that's 90%. She she has 90% crit right now. She has 90% crit and she's actually really tanky. Like if you brought this into PvP, it would actually be really really strong. Like she she would actually be a legit bruiser. Um, also, the defense is actually not bad. There's, there's a defense substat here. Um, and then, no, it's the HP that's not analyzed. It, it's a defense gen, so it's like a 3.3k defense. Uh, so yeah, she could definitely, she could definitely uh, do a bit of tanking actually. I think with a Mona like this, you probably don't even need a like if you're if you're running her with some aggressors and sappers, you might not even need a light tank. But it depends on how you're building your sappers. Like if you have a water Miho with uh with like one slot HP, you might be able to use the water Miho in, in there as well. Just basically um, because because she like it doesn't matter who gets targeted, but you could also use a light tank as well. I think the light tank could be a could be a pretty good strategy. Um, but yeah, her, his Mona only has five star gems, and there's a there's that new package um, that they they teased from before where they got everyone to vote and Mona won the vote. So she's she's gonna be coming back and. Um, I mean, if you, if you're a whale, then I guess you can, you can buy the package and then have a Dark Mona. She's, she's probably one of the strongest, uh, rebirth monsters that have ever, like that, that's ever been introduced into the game. So she's, she's definitely very, very strong. Like she's just super, super OP, uh, moral boost hunter and fighting spirit for dark. So, um, and this, this Mona is a perfect lead. I decided to give Mona the, the leader skill because it's it's kind of fair because you know if you're using your own leader skill it's not it's not really cheating um but yeah this is a this is a dark mono with like like bruiser build and five star gems you know with like one slot defense so it's, it's only got two slot attack but it's got 90 percent crit so it's basically like if you gemmed a monster with crit double attack uh it would still do this amount of damage, basically. Like even if you push it to 100% crit, so that's act actually really, really sick. So we're gonna we're gonna actually we're gonna actually try this out. Um, should I go with a light tank? Should I try an should I do an auto run or should I should I just stop it and see how much damage she does? I think we'll stop it. We'll do a we'll do a spotlight run. We can use her leader skill. We can use her own leader skill because it's fair. Because it's it's her own. It's part of the monster. So that's not that's not cheating. Uh, we're gonna do go with the double boost, so she basically gets her bar faster, so we can actually see her in action. We do get the evil two power, but no no attack bonuses here, so I guess that's that's kind of fair. 
There's only the sisterhood bonus and the, uh, the dark bonus. But no, like, attacker bonus. About half health. Definitely not too bad. If you have, like, two nukers, you can kill Moonflower in one turn. We'll armor break this one, see if it lands. We'll get uh we'll we'll get these two to try to finish off the moon floor. I don't think they can do it though. Rip. Sorry, my luck light succubus should be fine. She's she's quite tanky. Yeah, it's like she's literally doing as much damage as if, if you if you gemmed her crit rate double attack because of how high her crit rate is. So like if you have a really strong intuition set and you you gemmed up an attacker, like without the use of a crit rate gem and very very close to 100% crit, she can do tons of damage and and also be relatively tanky. We can actually see like I actually want her to get hit once, like maybe by the golem, so we can actually see see what what she does. So I'm gonna actually um, I'm gonna put up the buff and then we're gonna this is just the morale boost buff, but we're gonna we're gonna nuke this. It's like everybody has siphon gems, but we're gonna nuke this and I think with the hunter and the two attack um, I'm not sure if they can kill the moonflowers and the bees but the Mino probably should die so we're gonna we're gonna try this yeah we, we killed the, the Mino now it is with the use of a defense gem like can you imagine if you had a if you had your mono with like three attack gems and like at 90% crit intuition she would do so much damage, like, with every AoE, she would just clear the entire wave. Um, but I think that's actually a better build for PvP. This is a better, much better build for PvP. Because, um, this way she's also, she's basically just as strong as a Mona that has, like, double attack crit. But at the same time, uh, if she happens to get hit by, like, one of their light aggressors, she actually won't die. So that's actually pretty cool. I thought this uh, this Mona had a pretty nice gem set. If we had like even even this like she this this should do no damage, but like just a little bit of boost. I think I think we can probably clear this wave. Ah, oh, so close. I was thinking I was actually trying to put my Dark Gatito on a build with like either triple attack or HP double attack on intuition and still have a hundred percent crit. Like that would be that that actually would be so sick. Because um this way I could either like do so much damage that I could burst down some like really really tanky light aggressor like a light Odin. Or I can uh I can uh like like uh, survive a hit like if I have like one slot HP or one slot defense I can actually survive a hit from from uh, like the enemy aggressors and stuff I right, see if the golem hits my Mona I don't think I think she can survive this if she was an attack build like she would almost be dead from that especially if the golem crit like if she was attack build and the golem crit she'd just be dead like she, she, she would just be gone by now She would have been very, very close to death because, um, well, it, it's it's if I didn't have healers. Because if she was brought this low without the defense gem, I didn't heal. The golem hit her one more time. She would have just straight out died. All right, also nuke without with the attack down. I guess we have to nuke him with the attack down because we have the attack down. But it's it's fine. We're still doing a, a lot of damage to him, so it's definitely quite good. Yeah, these two over here are just support. They have like no damage. All right, she can't. She can't use her attack down. These two are silenced. I'm gonna actually. Uh, or she can't use her second skill. But this is the first skill without attack down on the golem boss. Did about like five percent of his HP. So that's that's actually not bad.
I feel like she can almost get a full bar with a morale boost. Alright, never mind, she can't. So we'll be able to boost a 20% bar from this. But I don't think the golem can survive another turn. It's probably dead for sure next turn. Or, or it might not be. Doesn't have the attack down, right? Alright, what if I do this? I give everybody a morale boost. I hit them with these two for... Well, basically I hit them at the same time, so he survives because he doesn't get hit with the, with the armor break. As long as the Mona doesn't get silenced, we, we can let her do the honors and uh, use her nuke to finish off. Actually, wait. This might actually kill the golem. If I, if I see it close to killing the golem, I'll send her in. Okay, okay, that, that failed. God damn it. I'm sad. Oh my god. I was supposed to let her finish off the golem. But yeah, if you... This is like super, super late game territory, but if you can like get close to 100% or even push to 100% crit on an intuition set with a dark attacker without the use of a crit gem, like... It's so strong, like it's 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 like the tier above using a ruined gem with 100% crit. Having an intuition set 100% crit without the uh, without the use of a of a crit rate gem, like go like triple attack or even go like HP double attack, because then you can be tanky and do the same amount of damage at the same time. So it's actually super strong. But yeah, that is that is pretty much it. Um, it's a it was a kind of short monster spotlight, but hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you want me to spotlight your monster, you will have to hit me up on Discord because I have to add you to a queue because the, the list is getting pretty damn long. Um, but I, I try I try to go down the list. Like eventually, eventually we'll get to the bottom of the list. So eventually we'll get to you, but it, you're, you're going to have to be patient. Um, but anyways, that's pretty much it. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.